Hello, what about you? I'm Andy, and I like to build stuff from any junk I can get my hands on, really. So if that's on your fancy, uh, stick around. So, first build of 2022, and uh, it's a bit of a Christmas build, but this is what I got up to over the holidays, so I thought I would share it. Um, I've seen a really cool design on Instagram by uh, Jack Parker, and wanted to base my build on that. So uh, if you want to check out Jack Parker's Instagram, there's a link there in the description. Uh, but before getting into that, here's some uh, community builds. So this first one was sent in by Darcy on a pretty cool tracked vehicle. So it's primed, ready for paint. Um, hopefully you send in some finished uh, pics of that one. A uh, nice one, Darcy. And then these next uh, droids are sent in by Andrew. And he has sent in uh, other droids in the past. So this I think is his second or third time sending in his builds. So very cool. And then I think a couple of these he was going to use for uh, Christmas tree decorations. So that'd be pretty cool, especially this uh, rocket ship one. So nice one, Andrew. And then the last one here is from one of my patrons, uh, Sean. And he built these during the live stream. So nice job, Sean. So on to my build. And I'm going to start with a ping pong ball. I um, already had this one stuck to a pen lid, um, so I'll use it for a handle for now, but I'll probably end up taking it off. And I've just got some guidelines drawn out here, just to try and keep my right, as far as the centre goes, and just uh, some of the places I'm going to uh, leave the milli put. So that's going to be my weapon of choice, just to start with. Uh, just get it unpacked here. And uh, cut myself a wee portion. And if you haven't used milli put before, it's just a two part putty that you just mix together and it dries rock solid uh, it's a bit like green stuff if you've ever used green stuff which I haven't myself but uh, but yeah so I'll just mix this together till it's all uh, one colour and this one's black which is pretty cool and I'm going to use it to cover the ping pong ball and that should help give me the panel lines that you see there in the, in the original sort of artwork and uh, just get a piece of grease proof paper down here so it doesn't stick to my board because this milli pot sticks to everything and then when it's all one colour and uh, nice and even I'll just flatten it out and just start to smoosh it on to the ping pong ball um, I want to get it completely covered uh, apart from a wee section at the bottom so I'm just going to use some of my tools here just to uh, mark out the centre lines and then t take some of that milli pot off again just to expose some of the bottom this is the only way I can really think of, of getting panel lines on a nice curved surface. And uh, I'm just going to use a lid here just to mark out this uh, circle on the bottom, just to get it nice and even. Uh, but yeah, if you can think of any other ways to get uh, panel lines onto a curved surface, I'd really like to know. Just uh, let me know in the comments there. I'd certainly like to know. But, uh, but yeah, I think this is going to work out well. So we'll just keep using my tools um, just to shape some of these uh, lines, just to clean them up a wee bit. And then when I get the edges cleaned up, I'll uh, use my knife here just to mark out some of the panel lines. And hopefully that works out well. And again, I'm constantly dipping my tool into the water there, <laughs> just so the milli pot doesn't end up sticking to my tool. And then finally, I'll uh, just wet my fingers and just try to get rid of some of my fingerprints and smooth this out a wee bit. So that's looking good, I'll just go wash my hands and uh, come back and start putting some of these lines in. And I'm just going to eyeball it, I, I could put in some maybe reference marks first, but I've already got those uh, pencil lines that I can see on the, on, on the underside there, I've exposed those on the underside. So I can see those, so I'm just going to use my tool here just to mark a mid line around it here and then mark out the other panel lines as best I can. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to work out well. I'll just take my time on this say, curved section here. I uh, just want to get it as even as I can. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, just keep working around, putting those lines in uh, nice and deep. Not too deep. I'm not cu cutting right through to the ping pong ball, but I am cutting at, uh, pretty much the, the whole way through. I don't want that ping pong ball to be exposed. I'll just put a wee access hatch here. Why not? It'll be easier to do at this stage. And then when I get the, all the lines sorted, 
Um, I'm going to take my uh, felt tip casing, it's just an empty felt tip casing, and I'll use the lid end, just because it's slightly bigger, uh, just to mark out a hole for where his uh, nose is going to go, and then I'll use the other end, which is slightly smaller, uh, just to mark out his, uh, some ho holes for his eyes, and some holes for his uh, arms, and again it'll be easier to do it at this stage when the millipot's wet, instead of trying to sort of drill it out when it's dry. Because, like I said, when it dries, it dries rock hard. And then just uh, tidy up some of those lines because I've been kind of smudging them around. So I'll just tidy them up one more time and then try not to smudge them anymore. And then basically leave it to dry. I'll leave it to dry overnight. Uh, but I'll make sure first to gather up all that uh, all that extra milliput and sculpt the nose. And just one final step before I leave it to dry, just go over it with a brush. I'm just trying to get rid of as many fingerprints there as I can. And yep, looking good. I think that's going to work well. So I'll set that to one side and leave the dry overnight. Alrighty, so I've left that to dry overnight and it's rock hard now. All those uh, lines have turned out nice and crisp. And I've still got my blank space at the bottom here just for sticking on a, a bit for my legs to go on to. And then with my extra milliput, I uh, sculpted this nose, uh, just a carved nose for him there. So uh, yeah, milliput, great stuff. So I've got a collection of bits and pieces here that I think I'm going to need just for building his arms and legs. And I've got a wee bit of aluminium wire here, uh, just for making pins with. And then I've got these tubes, these are from inside a spray bottle. And then some more of my, my felt tips, my empty felt tip tubes. And a couple of bottles there, but I don't think I'm going to use those bottles. And then I've got some of these click sticks. I've, uh, I've used these in builds before, they're quite handy. Uh, I got them in the in the pound shop. So some click sticks there. And then that's just a, an off cut piece of one of the, the tubes from a spray bottle. And then some beads, uh, just for some elbows and wrists. And yeah, that's... Uh, some more some more uh, pen parts there might as well just show you what I made earlier and uh, so what I've did is just started with uh, some of the click sticks and just joined those together and then bulked them out with uh, some of the uh, felt tip pen casing and uh, some of that tubing from inside the spray bottle and uh, I'll drill I'll drill the body out and put some pins in and they'll just fit on on the side there nicely but uh, yeah so that's the plan for the arms and like I say, this is one of the felt tip tubes where I've just cut a wee length of it and then just shaped it. Just a something similar shape to the to the original design. And uh, that's my the off cut sir that I was saying from the, the inside of the spray bottle. And that was just to bulk out the arm a wee bit. Uh, and then instead of building a hand, I was just going to put like a snowball blaster on the end there. I think that's a wee bit easier than uh, making a hand. So uh, yeah, and the, the click sticks, some of them are already hollow. I did have to drill out a, a couple of them, I think, when I cut them. But generally, they're already hollow, which is handy. And then just pinned it all together with some of my wire. And uh, drilled out a wee bead here for the for the elbow. And uh, yeah, and that's how it went, to, went together. And I just use the pins because uh, it just makes it all a bit stronger. And then if it does break, or if I accidentally break it when I'm painting, which I, which I have done before, it's uh, it's easier to put back together again. So just making sure that's the that's the right length and everything everything's buttoned together nice and tight. And yeah, that's ready for glue. So I'll just get that put together, and uh, that'll give my two arms to work with, and then I'll need to do some legs. So. Uh, Got this one pretty much finished. And um, I've got the the click sticks there joined together and bulked it out there with that uh, piece of uh, marker pen tubing. And I'll just get a wee bit of baking powder on the end here and uh, get this bead on. And I just scored it with my knife there first, and uh, just to just to give that uh, that glue some more grip. I know it's a, it's a wooden bead, but I might as well give it a bit of a bit of an extra key and then some baking powder, obviously just to just to give it that extra grip and then I'll just slide this other part on plenty of glue as well and uh, I'll just try to make it so most of the glue runs down to the inside and you won't see the, the nasty glue line but uh, I, I certainly want it nice and secure 
and uh, just make sure it's all lined up nice and proper. I want to sort of dead center here on this on the arm here. And yeah, that's it. Both arms done. And yeah, ready to move on. So I got the the body drilled out, and uh, I just put a piece of wire right through right through the body, and then secured it with some glue. And then I bulked out the arm a wee bit more there, just with a piece of plastic card, and uh, they're gonna fit on nicely. So that's the arms pretty much sorted. A wee bit more extra detail just on them to do, but uh, I'll move on for now. So I've got a hair curler here, and I've just cut a wee section of it, and I'm gonna stick it on the bottom here. I've done the same. I've already uh, put a piece of wire through it just to carry carry the legs, and you can see I've got the sort of legs roughed out here. And that should work well, but again, I still want to bulk the legs out, so I'll cut some more tubes here just from my, my felt tip pen and uh, just to bulk those legs out a wee bit. And then later on, I'll cut some more sort of larger panels just from some uh, shampoo bottles or, well, a shampoo bottle. <laughs> and the legs are pretty much the same uh, makeup as the arms, and uh, just a click stick skeleton, and then bulk it out a wee bit with the tubes. And I will need to make a base for him to stand on, uh, but for now, I'll maybe just use something temporary, like a, a piece of wood or something. So that's it, the legs put together, arms ready to go. And uh, I think he's looking pretty good. I just need to bulk him out a wee bit more, just with some more uh, paneling or armour plating. So I've got this uh, shampoo bottle. And I think just the, the shape on the side of it here should make nice nice covers uh, just for his thighs. And then I've got this, uh, this is like a, a lemon bottle and it's got a nice texture on it so it could work for some, some armour plating as well. So cut out a few here just to fit over the legs and uh, just like I said just from the shoulder of the, the shampoo bottle. And uh, uh, it sends the edges just with my candle. Uh, just to, to sort of give it a rolled metal feel, it kind of rounds the edges a wee bit and just makes it a bit nicer. And uh, they're going to fit on there, something like that. And uh, just test fit these in the base and they're, they're going to fit in there nicely. Uh, see if I can get these on just to show you what it looks like. But uh, yeah, something like that anyway. That's the plan. So, eh. Uh, I just need to get those stuck on, but uh, but first I need to get a panel. I've got some panels cut out here for the bottom, and uh, just for like a uh, like a chest plate, or well, slightly lower than a chest, but uh, yeah, we'll call it a, a stomach plate or a tummy plate. <laughs> so that's gonna cover up the just there, just below his chest, and uh, yeah, that was just cut from the from the lemon bottle, and then same again, just uh, sort of roll the edges a wee bit with my candle. And that just makes it a bit nicer. And uh, hopefully it'll help the paint stick a wee bit better. And I uh, still have to get his nose stuck on. So that has to go on there. Something like that. So I'll maybe get that stuck on now. Before I move on. So just a bit of baking powder on the nose. And then uh, plenty of glue there. And uh, this should make sure it's well stuck. And uh, the milly pot's very porous. So it should be a good bond. But uh, I'll just put some more some more baking powder on there just to make sure. And then I can go ahead and put these panels on the bottom. So I'll put a wee bit of baking powder first on the panel. I've put some glue on here, but before I did that, I didn't show you that. I'd scraped it with my knife uh, just to give the, the glue a bit more key. So uh, I'd, I'd give that a good, uh, a good scraping with my knife. And it'll just get this stuck on the bottom here and just use the other piece just to make sure it's lined up properly. And that's looking good. So uh, I just need to be quick with a baking powder on it. It's, it's going to bite uh, straight away. So I just want to make sure everything's lined up. And just get those stuck on. And then when I get those panels on, I'll just double check they're not interfering with my legs. 
or any any more of these panels that I'm going to stick on. So uh, got those all sorted, everything's stuck on, the legs are secured, and I've just got a couple more panels cut here for the shoulders. Uh, just make some nice sort of shoulder covers, and uh, same again, cut them from the bottle and just singe them with my candle. And you can probably see there I went a wee bit overboard uh, singeing them with my candle. But uh, yeah, it's it's still a good effect. It still gives it a, a bit of a battered worn effect. And then for the toes, uh, I've got these uh, wee bits of the uh, click stick. So uh, I've just shaped the end of them a wee bit with my knife, uh, just so that they fit in under the under that bead on the foot there. And uh, they're going to glue in there nicely. And yep, that's just the end of the click sticks. So uh, it's just as well I kept those to one side. And uh, and then I've cut a couple of wee panels here, just for the for the arms just for a wee vent detail here on the side of his arm and the plastic card's thin enough that it'll just uh, it'll just m meet that curvature nicely it'll uh, not need bent or anything so yeah that's uh, I put some uh, knee pads on there as well I don't think I should do those but I just cut those from the from the shampoo bottle as well and since the edges so yeah just need to get uh, get all this on and then it'll be ready for some uh, primer but obviously first remember give me give my shoulder pads a good key first so I'll just give them a good scratch up here with my knife uh, just to make sure they get a good grip and that's him good to go yeah that's the feet on they stuck on nicely there so uh, just reinforced them a wee bit with some baking powder and in the panels there on the arms and then I forgot to show you but uh, I made a wee hat a wee top hat just out of plastic card yeah that's a uh, how could I forget but uh, yeah, I made that all off camera. And yeah, so that, that's gonna fit on top. And then I've got some nice beads that are gonna make some good eyes, but I'll not stick those on until I get them painted. And uh, I've got some of these wood samples. So uh, I'm gonna use those for a base. I've used them before, they're, they're really good. So I've just mixed some, uh, some toilet paper with some PVA and kind of made up just a mulch with uh, the PVA and the toilet paper. Uh, put some of it on and I think that's made like a good snow texture. I'll paint that white and uh, try to give it a snowy sort of sort of looked it and then eventually get his hat stuck on but yeah that's him ready for paint so I'll get him primed and ready for some glamour shots and then I'll probably do the full painting of this guy on a live stream over the weekend so uh, keep a wee eye out for that if you're interested and uh, yeah so for now back to me in the craft room so there you have it um, if you want to see my paint this guy, I'll be live streaming over the weekend, so uh, keep an eye out for that. And until then, thanks very much for watching, and uh, a big thanks to all my Patreon supporters. And in no particular order, thank you Richard, Voxelbox, Sean, Cooper, Matt, Jackson, David, Wes, Luke, Matt, The Craftsman, Alice, Calvo, Maggie, Heidi, Spidermuff, Josh, and my new patrons, uh, Sean and All Chemical Abominations. Uh, thank you very much. I really, really do appreciate the support. And it really helps me keep the channel going. To be honest, I don't think I'd still be going if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you. As always, I hope this was helpful. And any questions or comments, you just know where to go there. Down below, work away. And remember, there are no stupid questions here. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.